you've brought something in today that's really going to excite a lot of people, a lot of little boys and a lot of big boys too, because it's about the Civil War. Now, in a brief, and you give me the long version, but in a brief description, tell me how you come across this book. It actually come across from Indiana, didn't it? That's right. Uh, I bought this book in Hanover, Indiana, as part of an enormous collection of books. I, I run a bookstore, and uh, this one I discovered after I came home, and it was probably the most interesting book I've ever found. I would agree with you on that, because I was excited when I opened it up and I saw a diary of hospital experience with notes on the treatments of Physics Surgery by A. Amonzo Morrison, Louisville, Kentucky, 1863. Pivotal time. A lot of stuff happening right then in 1863. You know, 1862, the Battle of Perival was already going on in October. You had Camp Nelson that was opened up in April of 1863. You had John Hunt Morgan that in July was riding through Kentucky. So, and then you had uh, you know, General Hugh, that took over the city of Louisville, the River City, took over, and here we are, here we are already November 1863. I found scores of things that were so interesting, but there was one that we both mentioned about, and you know, it's about the Galt House. You know, and the Galt House literally is just blocks from where we're filming this today. That's right. But the information that you saw inside is so amazing, and the handwriting very detailed. Now, you had said to me, and I do want to tell you the importance of getting this piece transcribed, of really being able to go through and be able to read easily, because we're losing the, the skill of, of this delicate penmanship and to be able to have it in good block printing. But this page, I mean, it just goes page after page of wonderful history. The ladies of Louisville came out they entertained us. They talked to us. I met with the other surgeons. There was one little piece of that I marked in there that said 800 men had died, you know, and a fourth of them were rebels. I mean, he talks about Rock Island. I mean, so much history. And I mean, you didn't even know it was there, did you? I mean, no. you just happened to come across it. Well, you said you didn't think it was very juicy. Well, I disagree with you. I think there's a lot of really interesting, juicy stuff in there. I think it's some great stuff. It's going to take time about what is going to be in that content when you get it transcribed and be able to really piece it all together. Condition's not bad. It's been through a lot. He's added bits and pieces, his favorite pieces. He's also got other notes from other time periods in the back. But there's a good sound, 70, 80 pages of Civil War, particularly Louisville history. And he goes over the river just a little bit. Be great, but what do you think value would be on this? Oh, I have I have no idea, Jerry, uh, because it's really one of a kind. It is. It, it, it truly is one of a kind. We have we always like to be able to put prices on things, but you know something like that is irreplaceable. But I would expect if you were to see this at a good high end book sh uh, book show or a Civil War show, you'd probably see this price probably about eight hundred to a thousand dollars. It's a great book. Glad to hear that. But thank you for bringing it in. Thank you for looking at it.